Tonight we are dining at Beach A here at Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel at Universal Orlando. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So tonight we always want to be up front with you guys and let you know that Beach A did invite us out tonight uh, to test out and try the restaurant. Um, this is a beautiful place. It's Italian. And uh, while we were kind of doing a little tour and walking around, we got some info that this actually used to be a restaurant um, that was supposed to be something comparable to Victorian Alberts and, uh, and it just wasn't really working. And so Beach A took over and they have redone it. It's beautiful in here. And uh, I mean, who doesn't love homemade from scratch Italian food and I'm super excited about it. So BJ restaurants began way back in 1926 in Milan. It just has, has blown up and blossomed and uh, we're really excited. This is gonna be a really great place to eat. So mm, we've already got some drinks and we've got some bread, which you guys know is something that I'm always all about. So let's talk about it. So for dinner tonight, of course, you guys know me, if I can get a mojito, I'm gonna get one. And here, they actually have a special mojito. It's the Biche Mojito. This is uh, Brugal Dark Rum Brown Sugar Mint Lime Wedges Sprite uh, Soda and Sugar Cane. So a little bit different on the ingredients in here, which is uh, really neat, very interesting. Um, it is shaken, I believe, because the mint in here has, uh, has been obliterated, but it's gonna be so good. I can already tell. Oh wow, oh man, that's amazing. It is not not very far from a classic mojito. It obviously has some different, um, you know, ingredients in there from your classic, but it tastes ever so much just like that classic mojito. And it is fantastic. Nice little bit of sweetness in there, balanced really well um, with a little bit of the uh, the lime and the and the sprite. Mm, it is very very good. Tonight I am starting off with a classic Italian cocktail. This is the Biche Spritz. It's served with Aperol, sparkling extra dry rosé, a splash of soda, and an orange slice. And it is served in this very large glass. I was not expecting it to be this big. Oh, it is ever so good though. It's really refreshing, um, which I'm kind of glad to start with something a little bit like lighter and bright in a, a drink anyway mm. this is good it's definitely gonna last me a while too because this is a huge cocktail here at bj they do have a bread service uh today we've got a focaccia and a ciabatta bread and then they also serve it with three different accompaniments you've got an, an olive oil that has been infused with herbs uh, here in-house balsamic vinegar and then another oil that's infused with herbs but has also um, red pepper flakes in it as well and it's pretty good uh i went with the ciabatta and did uh the uh, oil with red pepper and it's got a good flavor it's a really high quality olive oil which is really nice um, and then you get a little bit of heat in there from those red peppers which is really cool so i like it pretty good so far we also have all of our appetizers so uh we should talk about that too. So for an appetizer, anytime that we come to an Italian place, I love to get either calamari or Frito Misto. And in this case with Frito Misto, you get uh, calamari shrimp, uh, uh, zucchini. I think they've also got uh, mushrooms on here, which is something that I've not had before on a Frito Misto. So uh, I'm really excited. It's um, really, really good. Uh, it has the, the batter, I think, and a lot of times in Frito Misto sometimes can be a little bit off. Um, because it doesn't have a lot of flavor sometimes, but this is fantastic. Um, they actually marinate uh, the shrimp and the calamari uh, beforehand, and then uh, the batter itself uh, has a little bit of seasoning in it as well, which is really nice. So it, it adds uh, you know, a little bit more of just like a punch whenever you have it. And then of course, the marinara sauce is not hot uh, as far as spice goes. It is warm, which is nice, but it just is overall a nice acidic, um, addition to the entire dish so it's really really good as another appetizer tonight we got the beef carpaccio this is beef tenderloin carpaccio with pickled onions crispy capers and a truffle aioli so if you've never had a carpaccio before this is actually raw beef um, it's super super thin and the little bit of flavors that they add in there just make it so much more elevated <laughs> And let me tell you what, the beef almost melts in your mouth. It is 
so good and i love the little bit of truffle aioli there it's not overpowering there's just a little bit kind of um you know throughout the dish and then they did put some fresh ground pepper on there as well but oh my gosh i could probably eat this whole thing by myself it is <laughs> really good they also brought out some risotto for us. Now, um, risotto, they don't actually have a recipe on their menu for that that you can get every single time you come here. It is seasonal and it's pretty much different every single night that you come here. So tonight their risotto is a beet risotto. There's also some mushrooms in there. Um, we weren't really sure what to think about a beet risotto because honestly, I don't really like beets. And I would tell you if I did not like this but let me tell you what, the way they prepare this risotto, there is just a tiny bit of that beet flavor in there, just enough coming through with the cheese and the mushroom. Um, I mean, honestly, it is so good. Um, the risotto itself, like the little pasta, um, it is cooked perfectly. Um, it's not overcooked. It's not, you know, hard or crunchy. It's nice and tender. And I love the creaminess from the cheese and uh, I love some risotto and this is also very good. So we've uh, taken a little tour here of the appetizer so far. I've got to say, I love Frito Miso. I didn't try Taylor's raw beef or whatever she's eating over there. My favorite thing is actually that risotto, that beet risotto, uh, surprisingly is so, so good. So here at BJ, it, being that it's an Italian restaurant and that they do so many things uh, homemade and kind of made from scratch, um, they have an entire list of different pastas that you can get. And, uh, and, and they offered quite a few pastas to us, but what we decided was to get three half portions of um, some of the pastas. And I will say that even the half portions were enormous. Uh, I, so, if you come here, and I highly suggest that you do, you get a full portion to be ready because it's gonna be a lot of pasta, um, which is great. Um, but the one that I really enjoyed was the, uh, the one that I enjoyed the most was the tagliatelle uh, prosciutto. And I don't I normally don't like prosciutto, but um, this is tagliatelle pasta with prosciutto, fresh tomatoes, and a cream and basil uh, sauce, and uh, fantastic. What I really like about it, um, the noodles are almost, if you think of like a fettuccine, but they're just a little bit thicker, uh, nice and tender. And then overall, uh, it's just a, a good tomato base, um, a little bit of acidity in there, especially with tomatoes, uh, a little bit of saltiness from the prosciutto. So really, really good. I enjoyed it. Um, we also got two other pastas, but I'm gonna let Taylor talk about those because she really enjoyed those. We also got the capolaccio pasta. This is a little hat shaped ravioli with braised beef short rib, spinach, fresh mushroom, and a marsala cream sauce. This was the one that I was looking forward to the most because I love a good cream sauce. Don't get me wrong, I love a good red sauce too, um, but it was so good. I loved the braised short rib inside the little raviolis. Normally, I am a cheese ravioli person, but I just thought the way they cooked this pasta with the short rib, it just sounded amazing. So it really was. And I loved the Marsala cream sauce. Normally, if you think of a Marsala sauce, it comes with chicken. Um, but this was with the ravioli and it was a perfect combination of flavors and the pasta was super tender. You could tell that it was made fresh. Oh, just so good. Then we also got the Pappardelle al Telefono, which is Pappardelle pasta with mozzarella, fresh basil, and tomato cream sauce. I loved this tomato cream sauce and the pasta was super fresh. It was nice and tender. And one of the best parts about this dish was the cheese. Now, the reason they call it Telefono is because the mozzarella cheese that's in there, it stretches kind of like an old telephone cord. I know that's kind of funny, but uh, it's so true. <laughs> And that mozzarella cheese just made that dish like even more better. Pasta here, on point. And like Josh said, I am so glad that we got the half portions because there's no way that we would also be able to be getting entrees because we would be completely stuffed. So definitely something that, to consider if you come here, if you want to try pasta, but you also want an entree, just get a little half portion, maybe share it, and then get your entree after. For my entree, I got salmon. Um, I know you might be like, what? Why would you get salmon? But we 
we had so much pasta to eat and the risotto and it was such a heavy dish that I felt like I needed to get something that was a little bit lighter, even though as far as fish goes, salmon's really not that light. It's a heavier fish, but um, this was a salmon pistachio crusted uh, with seasonal vegetables and a balsamic glaze. Um, fantastic. I think if there was one thing that I could change, I would have liked to have had the pistachios as an entire crust. They almost did it more as like, um, as they, they kind of like ground it up almost into a paste and then spread it across it, but it wasn't like covering the whole thing. That's the only thing that I would change. Other than that, fantastic. Um, it was seasoned really well, nice and salty. You got that nice pistachio flavor in there as well. Um, and then combined with the seasonal vegetables and the balsamic glaze, I mean, just uh, an excellent dish overall. So uh, I know some people might be like, why didn't you get something else? But I wanted, uh, I wanted to feel okay about everything I just ate before that. For my entree tonight, I had the nine ounce filet. This is served with a truffle mashed potato and seasonal vegetables. It also comes with a peppercorn sauce on the side. I got my steak cooked medium rare. It was pretty much perfect. Um, this was, I saw nine ounces and I didn't really think anything of it, but this was a huge piece of filet. Um, I'm actually taking half of it home because there was no way I was gonna finish the whole thing, but it was seared to perfection. It had that nice little bit of crust on the outside from searing it um, and the truffle mashed potatoes the sometimes truffle can be overpowering um i think i said that earlier in the meal when it was on the carpaccio but not overpowering at all it was just enough flavor in there to give those potatoes a little extra something um and overall this was a fantastic entree you can never go wrong with filet and mashed potatoes that's like one of my all-time favorite meals we are beginning to wind down to the end of our dining experience here at uh, Fiche and uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to them for inviting us out. It's been amazing. The food is amazing and uh, wow. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of which is what I was going to talk about uh, as we have wound down to the end of the menu and we've decided to try and get something to eat for dessert. I suggested that the only thing that I would eat on the menu, not that I would only eat it, but the only thing I would really truly enjoy on this menu was the cheesecake. Um, I'm not a huge fan of cannolis. I definitely do not like tiramisu. Um, and of course, Taylor over there was like, ew, we're at Biche, you're gonna get cheesecake. Like, So the waiter came by and I, I asked very nicely, I said, what would you recommend? First thing he said, the cheesecake. So. We've got the cheesecake and it has arrived. This cheesecake is uh, amazing. This is my kind of style cheesecake, uh, New York style. It's dense, it's thick, a little bit of creaminess in there. I uh, love the berries. The only thing that I would change just for my own personal preference is the caramel sauce that they drizzle across the top, but doesn't take away from the dish. Still makes it amazing. Um, I love that there are actual berries inside of the cheesecake itself. It actually looks like they might be blueberries. Um, but this is uh, phenomenal and such a great way to end our meal. And they don't have coffee here, but they do have espresso. So if they do that, uh, or if they do, which they do here, um, normally I'll do an Americano, which is espresso and hot water. So I've got my coffee, I've got my cheesecake. I could have not asked for any better way to end this meal tonight. So thank you to BJ for inviting us out once again. All right, so we just finished eating inside of BJ here at Portofino Bay over mm -hmm. at Universal, and it was fantastic. I am so. <sighs> Same. <laughs> it was really good. I am so glad we finally got to come try this place out. We had looked at it a while ago, but it yeah. hadn't reopened yet. So uh, we finally made our way over here, and I am so glad they invited us out to try the menu and yeah. uh, all the amazing dishes that they have. We, uh, so they did tell us that they've got locations at Palm Beach, Naples and New York. Mm -hmm. So three other places if you're in those areas you're looking to do that try this place out. Um, yeah. I highly recommend it. Yes. Uh, it was fantastic. So many things made in-house and I think that's probably the best part about it is when you can tell that your food is fresh. Yes absolutely. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you to BJ for inviting us out once again. Mm -hmm. uh, an amazing time and we highly highly recommend that you guys come here check it mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. um, 
seating. Uh, it fills up in there. It fills up. It yeah, was totally it full did. when we left. So. Yes. So let us know if you plan on trying out Beach A here at Portofino Bay.